everyone, today we'll be creating a melting Cleopatra look and the first product we'll be using is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I don't think she makes this exact palette anymore. This is the original Rose Gold one, but she definitely has one very similar to it. And I'm taking the shade Sandalwood and buffing it really well into my crease. Then I'm taking my Makeup Forever Professional Flash Color Palette and I'm taking the black color and I'm starting to draw a line straight down from the end of my eyebrow so the end that's like obviously closest to my nose all the way down and then curving the line onto my crease so don't take it all the way down to your eye but just where your crease is and then I'm drawing it like outlining my eyebrow to really emphasize the shape of my eyebrow because as you guys know Cleopatra had very defined eyebrows and they were pretty dramatic very dark and shaped kind of geometric like eyebrows after outlining my eyebrow with the black shade from the Makeup Forever palette, I'm going in and making it more defined with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. And then I'm taking a Morphe brush, I believe this is the M441, but I'll double check and link it down below. And really blending it all out because we don't want any super harsh lines. Now I'm taking my Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D and I'm drawing a very elongated, dramatic eyeliner. Again, everything that had to do with Cleopatra was very dramatic, so you want a very intense, dark, and long eyeliner. Now I'm taking the gold shade from that same Makeup Forever palette and just painting that, painting that on my lid. So I'm using another Morphe brush. I don't know what, what brush it is off the top of my head because I filmed this video two years ago, but I'll definitely link everything down below. Now I'm applying one of my MAC false lashes. Don't worry, I'll link that below as well. And then I'm taking my MAC eyeliner and putting that in my waterline. Now I'm taking the teal shade from the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and just um, drawing that on my lash line, so very dramatic, intense on my lash line. Then I'm taking this Makeup Forever pencil, which is in a white, a creamy white shade. I wouldn't say it's ex super white. I think it's a little off-white um, shade, and I'm starting to sketch out where I want my face to technically be melting away. So this is a great product to use for a sketch because it's really easy to make mistakes with this product. You can literally just wipe it off with your finger and then redraw whatever you're trying to draw. So it's really great for Halloween looks and any kind of makeup transformation. Then I'm taking my Huda Beauty foundation and my Clinique foundation and mixing them together to get the right shade for my skin tone. As you've seen in all my other videos, I'm always mixing foundations together because I can never find the right shade. I should really try harder to find my foundation color. Then I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I'm just dabbing this on my skin above where I drew the lines for the melting area. So it's really hard, just do it slowly to get it in the right places. Now I'm taking the black shade from the Makeup Forever palette and I'm drawing a black circle around my eye. So I'm not going above my eyebrow, just lining the eyebrow and then going slightly underneath my eye. This circle definitely does not have to be perfect. Um, no skeleton looks perfect, like it shouldn't even be a perfect circle. It should be wobbly, it should be like oval shaped, any of that is perfect so don't worry if it doesn't look like a circle. So just make that outline and then you can fill it in. So this look that I created was inspired by Desi Perkins. I definitely want to give her credit. I loved her melting like skeleton or melting skull, I don't know what it's called, look. And I was obsessed when she did it the first time. And I definitely wanted to do something similar but with a tweak, just something different. So I made it a melting Cleopatra look. So this is definitely inspired by her. Here I'm just continuing shading in that circle around my eye and just make it completely black. Then I'm taking the white shade from the Makeup Forever palette and painting the rest of that side of my face white. 
Also, I want to mention that this is a very difficult look to achieve and don't think that I was doing it this fast. I was doing it so slow. I remember I was literally taking my sweet time. It took me probably two hours to create it. And for editing purposes and just so the video isn't like super long, it was originally 37 minutes long, just the parts that I had filmed. So I had to really condense it and take some stuff out and speed some stuff up. So don't think it's easy or fast to achieve this look at all. Now I'm painting on the nose part of the skeleton. It's really hard to explain some of these parts so you're really just gonna have to watch what I'm doing, maybe pause it, rewind it, and keep looking at it until you figure out how to do it because honestly when I was doing it I was looking at Desi Perkins video for the most part except for the Cleopatra part. Just be patient with this look and don't think that you can't do it just because it's hard. Just take your time and you'll definitely be able to achieve it. Now I'm using the white paint to sketch out where the jaw area is and really prepping the skin for where the teeth will be. So now I'm taking the black paint again and I'm just filling in in between the jaw and where the teeth will be and I'm just creating shadows with the black shade. As I mentioned before, just keep watching what I'm doing, try to follow along just by visual, like visually looking at my video and hopefully you'll be able to get it. It's just difficult, I don't know exactly how to describe each part of this, but right now I'm just continuing filling in the center of where I drew for the jaw. Also inside my eye area, I don't think I filmed this part, but I included a little bit of white on top of the black just to create some highlight so it looks realistic and just continue adding the black in. Now I'm finishing off the rest of the face with the white paint. I'm going to paint all the rest of my face with the white paint and in between the melting place parts will also be white. So just cover your mouth, your lips all with white paint and inside the melting sketches. I wish I did this like as a get ready with me video that would have been much easier to explain everything I'm doing and it's been two years since I filmed this so I'm just trying to remember everything I did. So now I'm taking the black paint and I'm outlining all the places that I originally sketched with that white Makeup Forever pencil. So just slowly and tediously go over these lines. And then we'll be basically filling them in, but not completely because you need them to have dimension and depth so they can't just be like fully black. So just finishing up outlining the white lines and as you can see after we finish this step, what I did was I filled in the top of each curve, so each section, I guess there's three sections you could say, I filled those in black but only about a centimeter or a centimeter and a half and then I I just left it I didn't do anything further than that and then I will be taking my finger and running that down because then it creates basically an illusion if you think about it um, the top is darker and then it gradually gets lighter so it creates a shadow which is exactly what we want because we're trying to make ourselves look like we're melting away we're trying to make it look like a skeleton this is without a doubt the hardest part in my opinion, the teeth. I didn't even film it because I remember it was really difficult for me to do it on camera and I had to go very close to the mirror. So I can definitely film another video explaining how I do the teeth, but honestly you're just going to have to do trial and error and just keep trying your best, erasing it, redoing it. I can explain it better in a different video and also write it in the description box how to achieve it. Also what I forgot to show is where I ran my finger down, I then went in with the white and I just went over the part that was I guess lighter than the top dark shade just to create some more highlight. Then I took my Mehron 3D gel and used this for the melting part of this look. So what you're supposed to do with this is submerge the bottle into a warm bowl of water and just let it sit for a few minutes. If you purchase this item it'll tell you on the back but then when it's warm enough you just start applying that to your skin and be careful put a bunch of paper towels under you so you don't get it on your clothes. I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to achieve this melting Cleopatra look.